lovelies, welcome back to my channel and you're gonna come and spend the day with me. I am currently, I was about to go today to drive to Inverness all by myself, um, which if you've been on my channel for a while, um, you'll know that I love going to Inverness and going shopping. We have been weathered off today um, because the wind is just getting, the wind and rain is just, it's not getting good is it Lou, in, in September. He's like that. Um, so anyway, I was gonna drive by myself and Lou was just gonna have a chill day at home, but the gentleman that he is didn't want me to drive to Inverness by myself because anyone who watches this channel, I think I've had comments before, people can't believe that we drive like three hours to go shopping for the day and to be quite honest, I was quite worried about the drive, getting out in and out of the car, going shopping, <laughs> not that shopping's exhausting, but it's a three hour drive there. Um, and yeah, basically Lou just said, I'll drive you there. So we've been chauffeured today by Lou, the imaginary boyfriend, say holla. <laughs> Say hello. 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 So we're starting off the day. I'm going to pop into, um, first of all, got to get the boring work stuff out of the way, haven't we, Lou? I'm going to our local, like, wholesale shop and I'm buying ice cream mix and stuff for the, the ice cream machine at the office um, as we're back to work tomorrow. And then, get that out of the way, we are hopping over to Primark, TK Maxx. I want to do a TK Maxx today. Primark, TK Maxx, um, home bargains and b &Ms. that's my four like we are going to. I am so excited, I've not been to any of these shops in two months, about two months? Oh, more. Definitely, probably more than that. It's been a long time and I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited and apparently Lou, they've even got the Christmas section in the B&M's. <laughs> um, also guys, I really like my makeup today. I've put quite a bit of like bronzer on my face, which I quite like because as you know, I don't wear that much makeup. And I've put some kind of like, cute earrings in, um, which I kind of feel like a revive. And I really like my outfit today. Um, and I've got my like Dior, faux Dior trainers on. But yeah, let's get on the road. We're on the road now. And um, probably see you guys in the internet. So I'm now in Booker's in the, it's got literally everything you can imagine. It's got so many sweets. It's got um, like bulk of everything. And I'm really here to be getting ice cream stuff, but I've ended up in the sweet section. I mean, how could you not end up in the sweet section here? Let me show you, there's so many sweets. It's like sweet heaven, but basically if you've got a business, you can get an account in any of these shops. And it's so cool. Let me show you. Like they've got all these like little, like boxes of everything, like everything you can imagine. All the strawberry pencils. No, like £5.79. So good. I picked up Blue a huge Henry Weston thing, which looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in traffic and Lou's just about to drop me outside Primark. This is when the exciting part of the day arrives because I got all the stuff in the boot, like all the stuff for the office and stuff, which Lou finds very exciting and interesting, but me not so much. We've got all the ice cream stuff we need and we've got everything sorted. So we are going to go into um, Primark, we, no, not Lou, me, um, and Lou's going to hopefully get a parking space outside. It's always great when you get a parking space outside because then you don't have to like move around, drive around in circles waiting for me. Um, so hopefully he'll get a parking space outside. I'm just going to mooch around Primark, see if we find anything. I know they've got a lot of winter stuff in at the moment and while I'm saying this, it's 23 degrees here and I'm in a huge puffer jacket, like what is going on? In Sky, it's windy, wet and wild. <laughs> That's a good explanation of what it is like. But anyway, here we come, coming around. All excited, here we go. Primark, here we there. I'm coming for you. Right outside, thank you so much, Lou. No problem. Um, these are the trainers, guys, I was telling you about. They're really cool. Well, I feel like they're cool anyway, not that I'm cool. So we are in Primark, and the first thing I have spotted is this gorgeous like knitted um, black and white sort of, it looks nautical but it's more like black and white um, jumper. Now look at that, it's got this little quarter zip and I just thought with some like jeans like that, that would look quite, I don't know, I just think it'll look quite cool. But then I always buy stuff in Primark, it's 13 pounds and I always buy stuff in Primark and then there's always one item that's a regret see and I don't really wear striped things so I feel like it could be a Primark regret see but at the moment, I think it's gonna go in my basket. Now, I absolutely love this. It's like black blouse with this gorgeous like ruched, I wanna show you on the thing. With this gorgeous like ruched um, 
cuffs and honestly it's so so nice i've got a really similar one at home it's not exactly like this but really really similar so i can't justify getting it but it's just gorgeous blouse imagine wearing that like glammed up with some jeans and heels jeans and a nice top that would be such a vibe love that it's got this nice little tie at the front and it's 13 pounds and i absolutely love that it's so so nice it's just the, it's just that detailing that i absolutely love they've just got like full winter vibes like khaki colors some burgundies i'm not a huge burgundy lover but i do love the khaki vibes um and oh my gosh there's some just there's some really nice little bits in here which i cannot wait to have a little wonder around i'm so excited <laughs> so excited oh look at these khaki khaki like wet look trousers now i 1000 percent could not pull these off but i feel like they would be a huge vibe if you were kind of cooler <laughs> and they are 13 pounds but they look such good quality just spotted this green shirt and i'm not even joking i nearly screamed <laughs> they how much is it 13 pounds and they've only got it in a 14 or 16 ah oh, no way i'm gonna so have to buy it in a 14 and try my best to style it the best i can because i cannot see like another one there but that's gonna be so so oversized I don't know how I'm going to style it, but I just, that colour, I need it in my life. I've fallen in love with this jacket and they don't have it in my size, I'm so annoyed. It's this huge, like, green khaki sort of jacket, um, it's got the black straps, how much is it? Ah, how much is it? £35, I think I'm going to focus, £35 and I've only got it in a large and next large and there's not a chance I'm buying that, it'll be way too oversized, um, but it's so so nice it would have come down right to my ankles which is the vibe i want to go for <laughs> my mark done ticked off the list and the next location is home bargains oh my gosh i'm so excited this time i went into home bargains was probably May, May this year, um, and I'm just literally so flipping excited to get in and just get some shopping, obviously. Um, but just to see mugs, I haven't even got a mug in so long, so let's get in. I always forget that you need a pound to go in here, so let's get a pound. I had one pre prepared from earlier. Go. Got so excited then thinking that they were cheese and onion but they're not, they're salt and vinegar. How sad, I've never actually seen salt and vinegar or any other flavour combos. No, I don't know if this is too early or not but it excites me. They've got the whole flipping Christmas section going on in Home Baggins. I'm going to do a full come shop with me in Home Baggins at some point in the next month but I think the Christmas new in section, I feel like... <laughs> I know it's only September right now. Like we're in, yes, I know we're in October in a few days, but it's only September. I'm like, what is going on? But as I said, I love Christmas. So I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not excited about it. Um, I'm just, do you know that way? It's like, oh my gosh, it's only September. If I bought a Christmas decoration now, they would kill me. <laughs> Look at that one there. Ho, 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 home bargains, £1.49, that's hilarious. And I love this little one here with the tree on top, and that's £1.49. Part of me thinks, am I going to regret not buying something just now? But do you know what, I'm not. <gasps> Look at these ones too. Ah, <laughs> Look, there's a little tree on top. That's so good on my tree. And they got the, oh, do you know, <laughs> I'm getting so kind of £1.49 for all these little ones. I love them, but no, they're not good on my tree just now. Absolutely not. Tell me in the comments, have you, I, I mean, I'm contemplating now starting like Christmas presents and stuff. But I feel like it's just that little bit too early to buy the decorations and stuff. But then I know if you don't buy it now, then they come out of the shop. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like, is it a little bit too early? I don't know. But anyway, we will do a full come shop with me in handbag and B&M's and all these sort of stuff um, over the next little while. But today I'm just like getting my mojo back. This is like my second video going up on the channel. So we'll get the mojo back first and then we will get on to like proper detailed hauls and stuff. I'm so excited to get them filmed. Um, but yeah, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting my YouTube guy back after three months. It's doing good. I'm smiling behind the mask. Not that anyone can see sucker as well I always have a theme for my Christmas wrapping paper and I've just spotted this one here which is like totally my vibe red gold Christmas wrapping paper is my vibe like these two packets here amazing 
We've got all the flipping Christmas sweets and I've just, you know what? I wasn't going to, but now I'm drawing in. Milky Bar, festive friends, right? Apparently it's got a creamy, crispy filling and that is going in my basket, my friends. <laughs> That is such a cool alternative as well, as instead of like a selection box for someone, getting them an Oreo festive favourite. Like, I love that. £1.79 for that. Now, I have arrived at the mug section. Now, considering I have not been here since like the start of the year, like May time, there is no kind of like new mugs that are jumping out to me. It's so positive. I like this one. And the, you got this. I like that one too. But there's no like. Like, oh, what's this one? Cup of positive, uh -huh, positivity. <laughs> That's quite cute. They're about £1.29 each, guys, but do you know that way? I don't know why, but I'm not like drawn to them. Oh, that one's nice. Stay sassy. Oh, oh, it's got a Tinkerbell. Ah, it's got Tinkerbell on the other side. Still, none of them are drawing me fully in this second to buy one. So, that's shocking me. Oh, look at that little ladybird. Oh, I like that one. Look at the ladybird. That's so cute. Now, these are like a go to when I come to home bargains and I haven't had them in so long. I'm so excited. Basically, they are like sweet chili rice thins. They are 7.9p for a full packet and they are so nice. They do them in a cheese and onion one, a sour cream sort of flavour. Um, but these ones are just incredible. And if you've never tried them, you need to try them. They are so good. So, now in TK Maxx and shopping in TK Maxx. It's always, you never know how much money you're flipping spend in TK Maxx when you come in. You could walk out with literally nothing, or you could walk out £100 less. I always find out TK Maxx, you either find something you love and you buy it, or you literally don't buy anything at all. So, we're in the first section, don't know what we're going to find. Got my trolley as always, I just like to kind of mooch in, in TK Maxx and kind of see if I see anything. Um, and if I don't get anything, I don't get anything. So. We'll have a little look and see what we can find. I'm literally loving today. I'm so happy to be back. Just potting around. Love, love a little bit of a shop. <laughs> I'm in B&M's now and I haven't picked up the camera yet because I just haven't seen anything that's like jumping out at me. I've got like a good like little haul of bits but nothing like, oh, nothing that I saw that I thought, oh my god, I'm going to show you guys separately to the whole video I'm going to film. But then I spotted this Christmas section. Now, as I said, I feel like it is too early but I need to show you these glasses because they are so cool. And they're mugs, and I'm not going to buy them because if I buy one, I feel like they would probably kill me because I'm going to buy the whole collection if I had the chance. Um, I'm going to show you. They're so nice. There's like a full row of mugs. So we've got like this glass Christmas tree one, um, clear, £3. We've got a little reindeer one, another Christmas tree. Here's the season to be cosy. Haha, <laughs> I love that one. And then we've got this one with the red. I love it. They're all about three pounds, they're all three pounds each. Then you've got the most extra glass of wine you could ever imagine, three pounds. How cool are they? I don't know if I'd feel like I'm drinking a glass of wine with them, but that is a vibe. Um, a few more over here, not a fan of these ones as much, but what a vibe, love them all. Just out of b and um, and that's all my shops that I wanted to go to. B&M's was good, Lou, but it wasn't like, like, it was good, but it was lots of Christmas stuff and I just feel like as much as I loved Christmas and it was nice seeing it all I feel like I'm it may be a little bit too early let me know in the comments would you buy Christmas stuff in September like decorations wise a lot of decorations um, but then it was also nice because I was looking at all the um, like games and stuff that they do like low not like not Christmas games but like gift Christmas gift that was quite cool um, but anyway yeah the boot is marginally full and we're gonna go and get a Burger King or a McDonald's. I'm so hungry now it's like it's like five o'clock and we've, we're like pro shoppers me and Lou. We get all the shopping done then we eat. <laughs> I don't recommend it to anyone because I'm actually starving. So we have just got in from Inverness and literally it's like 20 past eight something like that it was the weather is wild on the way home like it was so hot in Inverness and on the way home it was the wind the rain and it was not enjoyable one bit but we're home and we're back at the trips tomorrow so hopefully the rain will calm down but I thought I would show you guys what I got in TK Maxx because the rest I think I'm going to do a Primark B&M's and a little home bargain haul or I might show you guys later on in the week when I vlog what I picked up in home bargains because it's not like a huge amount but it's not like a, it's enough for a little haul sort of a haul what did I do in my mouth there haul for a minute um, but I'm going to show you what I got in TK Maxx I'm going to lay it out on the rug here 
and I'm going to show you guys because I love TK Maxx. I did pick up some like little bag and some good little bits, so let me show you guys. Well, it's fantastic how much they wrap up everything in TK Maxx. So I was really impressed with that because I think sometimes you go into shops and you buy things and they just like don't wrap it up and you're like, I'm buying a glass or a mug and I need to get it home in one piece and they just don't wrap it up for you. So, um... Yeah, I was really impressed with them wrapping it up. So anyway, let me show you what we got. Okay, first of all, I got this 16-piece um, cutlery set. I'm not really sure of the brand, but this is a 10-year guarantee. And I just know from looking at it that it's a proper sturdy um, sort of cutlery set. And it was on that reduced to clear section. It said, like, the R something P. The original price was about £40. And I got them for... $14.99 so I thought it was an absolute bargain and it just looks like such good quality um, cutlery um, so I was really happy with that um, I then got some new glasses because we are literally I don't know what happens to our glasses and cutlery because we literally have run out of everything so I saw these and I thought Lou's going to really like these they're like those like recycled glass um kind of vibe and it just says natural juice and I just think it's like a bluey kind of tint to it so I've got two big ones I'm just going to get rid of all our bit like we've got a couple of like odd glasses left but there's only two of us in the house we don't even need that many glasses um and so I got two of the big ones and I don't really drink out of these big ones because I, they're too like overwhelming for me and um I would probably drink out of this one but it's really not that small still it's still the same size as my hand and this one just says natural water and that one says natural juice and I just think they look a bit more, for the price, it was two forty nine for the big ones and one ninety nine for the small one. I thought for the price, they actually like such a nice expensive set of glasses. Um, and I thought, that's a vibe. So I'm going to get rid of some of our old, like, mismatched size ones. Just stick to these four in the cupboard. And obviously we've got wine glasses and a few other glasses for gin and things like that. But I just thought for our juices and things like that, we don't really need any more than this. There's only two of us in the house. And we never really have that many people around. Um, but it saves us having loads of mismatched glasses. And I really like these, this set. I then got a couple of mugs. Don't ask me why I got this yellow one. But I just, it. I was drawn, oh gosh, oh gee. I was drawn to it basically. It's a yellow mug. Um, I think it must be from a brand because it was four ninety nine. The size of it, I love the colour. And why was it four ninety nine? What was the brand? Royal Dalton, Gordon Ramsay Mays. So I'm not really sure, um, but I kind of like the size of it. I've never spent that much money probably on a mug before, so I don't really know what was going on in my brain in that shop. Um, and then I got this one here that says gorgeous, gorgeous, um, really liked this one and this one was 4 .99. the RRRP was 13 same thing, doesn't say the brand or where it's from, but I just liked that, white with a red gorgeous on it, so that's quite cute, and then last but not least, in TK Maxx, I got this Guess makeup bag because I just needed to treat myself to a makeup bag. I've not had a new makeup bag in probably two years, and the last one was from Primark. No, it wasn't B&M's, and it was a Mean Girls quoted one. I thought, Do you know what, how you're 25 years old, um, let's you know spice it up a little bit and get a bit more of a nicer makeup bag. Um, so I got the Guess one, and I'd really really like that. I think that's really nice. And over the winter, me and Lou are planning, hopefully, if COVID provides and lets us um, do like a lot of traveling and exploring over the winter so uh, I thought it'd be nice to get a makeup bag and this one was 9 99 um yeah and that's all my little TK Maxx goodies quite happy with all that it came to about 40 something pounds but I was quite happy with the new makeup bag which I desperately needed new cutlery set which I desperately needed some new glasses and a couple of mugs which I desperately did not need <laughs> So yeah, that is everything I got today. Thank you for coming along with me. So exciting to be able to be filming again. It literally, <sighs> three months and now I'm back. So yeah, this video will go up probably, I'm filming this on Sunday and it'll probably go up midweek or the next couple of days. Um, and then following on later in the week, hopefully we will get another vlog up or uh, not a vlog, um, a haul video up because I'm going to film a Primark haul and a B&M's haul definitely. And probably a vlog this week, which will go up like next week. But as I was saying, I didn't really say in my first introduction video, but um, I'm not going to promise to hunt, like I used to do three uploads a week um, and then 
it was, it was too much pressure and at the moment we've still got five weeks left of the season so I'm gonna promise one upload a week and I'll probably upload twice but one upload a week for 100% sure and it's not going to be on any specific day I don't want to put pressure on myself because that's how I got myself in a loophole of missing three months um so I hope that's okay with everyone I will be uploading at least once a week probably twice it will be twice but I don't want to put that in you know when you say that and it doesn't work out so um probably twice and yeah thank you so much for watching um and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up it means the world to me it's totally free to click the thumbs up button and if you are a newbie and you just found this channel hit that subscribe button and follow me on my journey crazy whirlwind of a life <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you all real soon in my next video and also thank you so much to all the lovely comments and messages i've had since my last video it literally means the world to me so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all real soon in my next video Ciao. bye guys i could be running or i'm chasing you but i won't because i got better better things to do and i spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too if i got a dollar for every time you slam the door i would be the richest